So in the series of learning Python programming language and previous video we have talked about history of Python language. Now in this video we will install actually Python as well as an IDE for writing programs in Python language and then we write a simple program just to print hello world. That we usually do whenever we you learn any programming language first program we write is print hello world. So this these three things we will do in this video right Python is a interpreted language so we that is you can say basically we will uh, you know install uh, the base interpreter for python right so now let's see how to install these things one by one step by step okay first we will search like just write down download python okay and better to open the website the uh, website of this python.org python.org right and here in the download section you will find download python 3.10.6 the latest version is 3.10.6 so we are going to download this version for windows okay so just click on download and that's it it will take only few seconds and see it's been downloaded let's just click on this and now how to install this you can click on install now two options are there or customize installation in customize you can choose your location and some features right by default this should be your location if you click on install now okay it will include IDLE, PIP documentation and all we'll see what is IDLE, what is PIP basically to install python packages and all we'll see one by one these videos but for now just add this uh, uh, just check this also this checkbox check add python 3.10 to path means automatically it will be added to path and directly from cmd command prompt you can run this interpreter you can run the commands on python you don't need to add any path right so i'll do customize installation okay see in this what are the features documentation pip it will install uh, you know pip which will download and install python packages later we will install some packages also in python so using pip we can do that thing okay now let's uh, let's click on uh, next and install for all users right and you just keep everything as it is this is the location install location c program files and python 3.10 okay and click on install that's it and then yes now it has been started and it will take few seconds to install this uh, language to this this uh, interpreter for this language here we are downloading the base interpreter for python right now after that we will in install ide pycharm basically ide is what integrated development environment which is basically an application or you can say it's a software to build applications it is having text editor also code editor okay with there you can write down code uh, with having some syntax like syntax highlighting some extra features it is having syntax highlighting auto completion if there is an uh, there is any error then underline it will uh, show red underline under that line in which uh, you are having error same as we have installed and we have worked right now also we are currently working visual studio code uh, when we were we run c++ program so for this that id is an id also having compiler debugger right many things in simple and in one software we are having many things so that is why we use ide rather than writing our programs in notepad we generally prefer ides many ides are there so here we use pycharm so after this we will install pycharm okay now let's just uh, click on this and download pycharm okay it is by jetbrains so you see the first website only jetbrains.com right it is by jetbrains so just uh, click on that thing and you will find two version here uh, professional as well as community but better to download community version because it would be paid it would be free for it it is professional is a free 30 days trial only so we will download community version okay it has been started now as you can see our setup is also going on and we have so now our python 3.10.6 64-bit setup is successful we will close this uh, see as you can see also there are 
various releases previous release 3.10 3.9 3.8 whatever version you want to download you can download right but better to download the latest version that would be fine so as you can see these are the versions you can download other than this version 3.10.6 you can download any other version also it's up to you right but better to download 3.x version only you no know, 2.x because they have and it the support for 2.x version right now how to check that we have successfully downloaded this python so just you can just uh, click on this you can uh, open your command prompt cmd type cmd and this is your command prompt right now here i will uh, write python version hyphen hyphen version so see it is showing me the version 3.10.6 yes it has successfully downloaded and installed sorry uh, not downloaded installed this python this interpreter for us right so if you enter uh, write python and enter then our, uh, this interpreter for us has been started here you can you can use this thing for calculate as a calculator or you can write down your commands here you can do programming also here line by line so see if i uh, write 3 plus 2 it will show me 5 so this can also be used as a calculator so line by line because interpreter what do what interpret line by line not the complete code so only one line you will write and it will show you the result of that line so simply we will exit from here simply type exit and press enter and one more thing we have also included we have also installed pip that was used to install some packages and all if you want to check that thing also you can just uh, write down pip here and just enter so see it will show you something like this the result after uh, clicking after writing pip and clicking just enter so this would be the case so means uh, pip has also been installed successfully you don't need to do anything loud now they just uh, close it now we will install our pycharm the ide so let's click on this the community version that we have downloaded already and it will show uh, this screen just click on yes and next and this is the destination folder for our this uh, installation then click on next simply click on next or you can write down create if you want to create desktop uh, shortcut you can just click on this open folder as project this also you can click if you want to add bin folder to the path update path variable so i don't want to include this thing you just click on next now right and simply click on install that's it it will take some time right so it's been done now you can just click on the run pycharm community edition and just click on finish so now it will launch and just click on don't import settings and okay right now it will launch your pycharm community edition 2022 now what you need to do obviously the first time so we will create a new project so click on new project okay now see this type of thing would be there on your screen now what you have to do you can just this is your location see my location is this thing and python project so if you want to change the name of your project you can just i am uh, writing first project that's it now new environment it is showing that virtual environment but we don't need to this uh, we don't need to do this thing we need to do what previously configured interpreter for this it was so now it is showing no interpreter you have to add interpreter because we have already installed python interpreter right so add add local interpreter and i have which interpreter it's python 3.x see location is c user and base interpreter is program files python 3.10310 and python.exe right this is my interpreter okay now just click on this okay if you are you know if in your laptop it is not showing anything so you can just click on these three dots and you can search you can search in which folder you have installed in c folder in user or python in which folder you have installed that python 
previously we have installed that python you just go to that folder click go to that folder and click on python.exe and then select it right in my uh, pc i have already this thing python.exe so just click on ok so it is creating uh, that environment so see the interpreter is python 3.x uh, sorry 3.10 ok now see create a main.py welcome script it will create a main.py the extension for python uh, programs is .py just say for c we have .c for c++ we have .cpp so same for python we have .py so it will create a welcome script for us for us right if you check this if you uncheck this it will not create anything but i'm going to check this okay now let's just create so it is loading our first project see main.py so it is our sample python script okay you can say this if you want to check out this thing you can check out otherwise no it's okay you can what you can do you can just uh, remove all these things and we can do our simple like we have now installed our ide so if you want to print hello world in python how you will print it's very simple no need to write down any header file main function and all one line you need to write down okay now if you want to write down that thing in main.py you can do that thing or otherwise in first project you can you can create you can create a new file right click on first project new the name of our project is first project new and then file i'm creating new file that is first dot py here i'll write my code simply you need to write print and hello world that's it no semicolon nothing else nothing else so you can simply run this here we have a you know this kind of thing hi pi charm so it is okay it is actually running this main.py this file main.py we no need to uh, run this file we we need to write uh, we need to run our first dot py th this file so now let's uh, oh, close that file select this first dot py and sorry here here not main you have to select your current file okay not main here if there is this kind of thing you just select current file and run this now current file is first dot py so it is printing hello world on my screen simple program so i think with this only you can identify how much simpler is to code in this programming language python programming language then c and c plus plus and java and all to print a simple line hello world you just need to write down print and that thing because it is a string or the string you can write down in single quote also here no double quote but actually i am from that c and c plus plus background so i put string in double quotes and a single character in single quote but in python you can write down rather than then these double quotes single quotes as well uh, single quotes okay let's run this current file and it will print hello world both are same single quote or double quote it's up to you so i guess this is clear to you now from the next video we are going to start you know our actual python programming course we will learn about variables how to use uh, those data types string and all you'll see these kind of things so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care and if you are finding any difficulty in downloading and installing these kind of things you can let me you know in comment section okay so that's the next video now till then bye bye take care